the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, is a specialized agency of the United Nations, UN, aimed at promoting world peace and security through international cooperation in education, the sciences, culture and communication. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, was formed in 1945 for the following reasons. To prevent future wars. In the aftermath of World War II, the world's leaders recognized that lasting peace could not be achieved through military means alone. They believed that education, science, and culture could play a vital role in promoting understanding and cooperation between different countries and cultures. UNESCO was established to harness the power of these fields to build a more peaceful and just world. To promote education for all. Education is essential for individual and social development. It empowers people to make informed decisions, participate in their communities, and contribute to the economy. UNESCO works to ensure that everyone has the opportunity to quality education, regardless of their background or circumstance. To advance scientific progress. Science has the power to solve some of the world's most pressing problems, such as poverty, disease, and climate change. UNESCO promotes scientific research and collaboration, and works to share scientific knowledge and expertise between countries. To preserve cultural heritage. Cultural heritage is a vital part of our collective identity. It connects us to our past, informs our present, and shapes our future. UNESCO works to protect and promote cultural heritage, and to ensure that future generations can enjoy the rich tapestry of human cultures. To promote freedom of expression. Freedom of expression is a fundamental human right. It allows us to share our ideas, criticize our governments, and hold those in power accountable. UNESCO works to protect freedom of expression, and to promote access to information and communications technology, ICT. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, works in five main areas. Education. UNESCO works to promote quality education for all, regardless of background or circumstance. The organization provides support for education programs in developing countries, and works to promote literacy and lifelong learning. 2. Sciences. UNESCO promotes scientific progress and cooperation for the benefit of all. The organization supports scientific research, and works to share scientific knowledge and expertise between countries. 3. Culture. UNESCO works to protect and promote cultural heritage, and to promote cultural diversity. The organization supports cultural exchange programs, and works to preserve endangered cultural sites. 4. Communication. UNESCO promotes freedom of expression and the free flow of information. The organization works to protect journalists and media workers, and to promote access to information and communications technology, ICT. 5. Information. UNESCO promotes access to information and knowledge, and works to improve communication and information systems. The organization supports the development of libraries and archives, and works to promote media literacy. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, has a three-tiered structure. 1. General Conference the General Conference is the supreme governing body of UNESCO. It meets every two years and is composed of representatives from all UNESCO member states. The General Conference is responsible for setting the organization's overall policy direction, approving its budget, and electing the Director General. 2. Executive Board the Executive Board is responsible for overseeing the implementation of UNESCO's programs and budget. It meets twice a year and is composed of 58 representatives from UNESCO member states. The Executive Board is elected by the General Conference and is chaired by the Director General. 3. Secretariat 
The Secretariat is the executive arm of UNESCO. It is headed by the Director General, who is appointed by the General Conference on the recommendation of the Executive Board. The Secretariat is responsible for carrying out UNESCO's programs and activities, and for providing administrative support to the General Conference and the Executive Board. The Secretariat also has a number of cross-cutting offices, which are responsible for coordinating work across the sectors. These offices include The Office of the Director General provides overall leadership and coordination to UNESCO's work. The Office of Internal Audit and Investigations is responsible for auditing UNESCO's financial and operational activities and investigating allegations of wrongdoing. The Office of the Legal Counsel provides legal advice to UNESCO's governing bodies and staff. The Office of the Ombudsman provides a confidential and impartial forum for staff members to raise concerns about wrongdoing or mismanagement. Here are some of the UNESCO's notable achievements. Establishment of the World Heritage List UNESCO's World Heritage List identifies and protects cultural and natural sites of outstanding universal value. Today, there are over 1,100 sites on the list, located in 167 countries. Launch of the Education for All EFA, movement In 2000, UNESCO launched the Education for All EFA, movement with the goal of providing quality basic education for all children, youth, and adults by 2015. The EFA movement has made significant progress, with the number of children out of school dropping from 100 million in 1999 to 61 million in 2015. Creation of the UNESCO Institute for Statistics, UIS. The UIS is a global database of education, science, culture, and communication statistics. It provides data to policymakers, researchers, and the general public to help them make informed decisions. Adoption of the Universal Declaration on Cultural Diversity The Universal Declaration on Cultural Diversity, UDCD, was adopted by UNESCO in 2001. It affirms the value of cultural diversity and the importance of protecting it. Establishment of the International Program for the Development of Communication, IPDC. The IPDC is a UNESCO program that helps developing countries to improve their communication infrastructure and skills. It provides funding for training, equipment, and research. Launch of the Science for Africa, SFA, program. The SFA program is a UNESCO initiative that aims to strengthen science and technology in Africa. It provides support for research, education, and capacity building. Creation of the Man and the Biosphere, MAB, program. The MAB program is a UNESCO initiative that aims to promote sustainable development through the conservation and management of biodiversity. It provides support for research, education, and capacity building. Launch of the Global Education Coalition The Global Education Coalition, GEC, is a UNESCO-led initiative that brings together stakeholders from across the education sector to work together to ensure that all children and young people have access to quality education. Establishment of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network, UCCN the UCCN is a network of cities that use creativity as a driver of sustainable development. The network provides cities with a platform to share best practices and collaborate on innovative projects. Launch of the Revive the Spirit of Mosul Initiative The Revive the Spirit of Mosul Initiative is a UNESCO-led effort to restore the city of Mosul, Iraq, after it was devastated by ISIS. The initiative is focused on rebuilding the city's cultural heritage, promoting education, and fostering economic development.